Welcome to the 2016 Black Sustainability Summit. I'm Dr. Kamal Kanban, former professor of education at, a, at an historically black college and former professor of African Studies and Black Studies at a state university in North Carolina. It's a great opportunity to share with you some of my ideas that I have cultivated over the last 40 years uh, regarding the very survival and development of black people nationally and internationally. The idea behind this sustainability summit is very profound and definitely needed at this time. And it's in, a, it's in alignment with my ideas that go back some 40 years when I became conscious about the situation that black people were in. And as a result of my acute awareness of this situation, I realized that there was a tremendous amount of waste of resources in our community and outside of our community. There were, people were wasting water, they were wasting food, and all the resources around them. And I think that we, at that time, had a linear mentality as though the resources were never ending, that they would always be here. In light of that, I decided, however, to take a different view and a different stance. I decided to, one, get control of my own mind and I started to think for myself. I did not know at that time about the great scholars and all the work they had done but I was just coming into consciousness and what I decided at that point was to differentiate between what I wanted and what I needed. And when I started to eliminate the things that I wanted and started to only deal with the things that I needed, my life changed for the better. In short, over the years, what I have done is, and what I'm suggesting is that we set up a plan of action for our lives. I have looked at how we as black people behave. And I said that I would look at us in various domains or various dimensions. That I said that we have these different selves, S-E-L-V-E-S. -E we have a psychological self, a cultural self, an economic self, an education self, a health self, a spiritual self, a social self, and a political self. And it is our responsibility once we come into consciousness is to try to organize all of our different selves and put them in proper alignment with the idea of sustainability, first survival, and then sustainability that we have to adopt a different type of mentality, not a linear, never-ending, gobble up all the resources, but cultivate and develop an understanding that we have to loop our resources, use the resources as much as we can at the minimum level, and then recycle or loop the resources or the waste and see if we can use whatever is left again and loop our resources around. I, I like the term that I came up with, which is term, T-E-R-M. And that represents time, energy, resources, and money. And I've added an S to this term. And the S stands for either saving or it could stand for squandering. 
So if we understand that we have to operate on this planet, in this realm, at this time, in our own terms, meaning using our time, using our energy wisely, using our resources wisely, and also using our money very wisely. And I decided years ago that I would not finance or give my resources to people who were actually my enemy. And therefore I changed and developed this idea of the different selves. So for all, over 40 years what I have personally done is that I try to give my resources to people that look like me, to black people. So when I travel, I shop black, I buy black. As much as I can, I have to be very practical, but as much as I can, this is what I do. I'm trying to infuse those who have businesses, those who have the things that I need, infuse them with money and hopefully they will recycle or loop that money back into the community and we will cultivate the idea that this is a sustainable process. So over the years when I, we were building our home, we had a black electrician. The man that set the blocks for us was a brother. Um, the people that cleared the land were black. They had their own equipment. The people that put in the uh, tank, they were black. Our doctor is black. Our chiropractor is black. Our dentist is black. And our painter is black. So we go to black people first before we go outside. And there are some things that if we have to go outside, we get the best price. Now personally, what I do, before I started wearing African clothes, I would buy the cheapest white clothes that I could find. I didn't go for brand names or anything. But I want to go back to this idea of getting all of ourselves together. So I maintain that each of us should have a psychological plan. And in my psychological plan and our psychological plan, there are certain elements that we do not let penetrate our psychology. So we're keeping our psychology meaning the way that we think, very, very tight. We don't let elements that can downgrade us into our psychology. So our psychology is black. Our psychology is African. And these two words, African and black, are interchangeable when you listen to our great scholars, Dr. Clark, Dr. Ben, Amos Wilson, Chancellor Williams, etc. So they, and Dr. Chayanta Jope, they all talk about Africa and black. So these words are interchangeable. So our psychology should be black. Don't let elements that are foreign to our psychology and to our concepts come into our psychology because then that starts to erode our ability to think for ourselves. There's a great book entitled The Psychotechnology of Brainwashing, which talks about how we have been brainwashed over the years through different uh, elements, through television, of course, through the public schools, through colleges, etc. All that's brainwashing, through advertisement, all that's uh, brainwashing. The propaganda, there are seven different types of propaganda that are used to penetrate our psychology, to undermine us and destroy us. So that's one way to get our different selves together, to get our psychology tight. The next is cultural, to get our culture tight, to understand what it means to be an African on planet Earth. And Dr. Asen Hilliard, one of our great grandcestors, he's beyond being an ancestor, he's what I call a grandcestor, someone who's been fighting for our liberation. He said that culture glues our people together. Culture is the glue that keeps us together. So in our culture then, if we're following along this line and we're trying to be in alignment with being African, 
pure African, pure black, then we don't let elements that are foreign come into our culture. So that deals with discarding things that don't relate to African people. The holidays, the different European names that we have, the way we celebrate uh, weddings, etc. We should all think about how to keep ourselves in alignment with our cultural norms and practices. And so don't let people come and say, oh, that's, that's, um, that's old, that's old time. No, this is the way to sustain ourselves because this conference, this summit is sustainability. And the way we sustain ourselves is through culture. And culture is the pathway to, sus to sustainability. The next area is economics, which is, a, of course, a very important area when we talk about sustainability. And it goes back to terms, time, energy, resources, money. How do we use these elements in an economic way? So it's very important not to waste our resources, our money. I call money actually our currency because the money and the resources, these are the energy factories that keep a people going. So I think that it's important to get rid of credit cards, buy what you need and not what you want, support black businesses, black professionals, black craftsmen, mechanics, and those that uh, do HVAC, all this is money that should be directed into them and to make sure that they're delivering a quality product. And in my case, if they're not quality, I get on them hard, hard, hard. Said, yo, you got to come. You got to come better than that. I'm coming to you and I have high expectations that you're going to deliver a quality product to me. And I have an expression I mean business. I am serious and I mean business. And that's how I want you to approach the work that I'm asking you to do. So our economics is very, very important and how we use our money. The next area is education. And I maintain that, there, uh, that in the area of education, I make the distinction. There's a difference between being intelligent and being smart. And intelligence to me, being an educator, is that someone can do well on paper and pencil tests. Not everyone can do well on paper and pencil tests. But everybody can be smart. I have an expression that says, are you smart enough to be smart? Another expression is, we used to hear, a word to the wise is sufficient. I said, no. A wise word to a wise one is sufficient. Again, it goes back, are you smart enough to be smart? Are you smart enough to educate yourself? The word is autodidactic. I mean, get in the books, study, learn, listen, read. So the, the external system of the dominators they jump for joy and are filled with glee when people remain ignorant. That's what they love. So when we're talking about educating ourselves, like many of our scholars, we know that Dr. Clark was an autodidactic. Uh, Henry Hubert Harrison in the 1920s was a brilliant man. Marcus Garvey, as a matter of fact, Marcus Garvey, uh, by the time he was adult, he had a vocabulary of 30,000 words that he knew. So education is important. In addition to our education, then we go to health. Now this is a very critical area. When we talk about sustainability and uh, in relationship to this summit, you have to be on the planet in order to save the planet 
in order to cultivate the resources and loop them around. If you're sick and in the hospital on all kind of medications, then you hurt our cause because we have to be concerned about you. We have to use emotional energy, financial, uh, financial resources, and you pull everybody into your situation. And that is part of bringing us down. So learn about health and nutrition. What you put in your mouth is very important. Try to eat organic foods. Drink plenty of water, pure water. Get your, your nutrition, get your nutrients. Learn about the things that you need. And we have enough scholars in this field of holistic health that can put, point us in the right direction so that we can sustain ourselves. So I'm talking about developing these different plans, psychological, cultural, economic, education, health. So you have your plan as tight. Then the next is your spiritual plan. Uh, one of the spiritual leaders that I know says that we are all spirit. I think that we are we're everything. We're electromagnetic. We're spiritual. Uh, we're melanated. And all these confluence, they all come together to make us who we are. So we have to be, I think it's important to be more spiritual than it is religious. And then the next area is social. That what our social plan should be very tight. There are no things that we should do that would undermine social relationships. In our social relationships, we should try not to argue with one another, not to have attitudes with each other, not to have dis major disagreements with each other where we're battling each other, uh, not to have grief with one another, static with one another, don't stress one another out, don't create tension in our families so that we minimize our worries. Under this system, one of the things that it does is that it puts so much pressure on us and it makes us angry and what it does, it produces this chemical called cortisol in the body, fight or flight. And the cortisol actually eats away at our heart tissue. This is why we, it's important to try to eliminate stress. But you eliminate stress through different through different measures, exercise, you know, go back to your health, your diet, meditation, working out, all these things help to minimize your stress and uh, tension. So social, don't try to keep up with the Joneses, so to speak, because the Joneses now have come to consciousness and the Joneses, they changed their names to African names. They have downsized. They have now distinguished between what they want and what they need, and they dropped all the things that they thought they need, they wanted. Now they only focus on their needs. Don't let people trick you into the social con game where you have to buy a new car every year because you're only supporting people who are our enemies. You don't have to buy the latest design of things. So don't think that by all these external manifestations, we're elevating ourselves to a higher class. It's ridiculous. Be very basic. Be very moderate. Don't try to front. Don't try to impress people. Just be your natural black self. And don't let people put pressure on you to engage in activities that are unsustainable. This summit is the Sustainability Summit. This means we're at the apex, we're at the top. We understand what we must do if we are to survive. And as Kwame Turi said, we are going to survive. Moreover, we are going to thrive in the future. And then finally, political. When we talk about getting all of ourselves together, political means that everything that we do is political. Either you are supporting people who are your enemy, is crystal clear. 
It's clear as sunshine. Marcus Garvey said, everything we do is political. What we buy, what we think, where we go. And in the social realm, be careful of where you go. Because where you go, the places that you frequent, you are giving that place credibility. You're saying, yes, this is what's up. This place is what's up. And I say, no, don't go to a bar. That's not what's up. Don't drink alcohol. It destroys brain cells and liver cells. So, no, understand that everything you do is political. So, in summary, I've come to the, this analysis, and I'm talking about high-level thinking, critical thinking, Critical synthesis, meaning bringing all of ourselves together and be in alignment. See, many of us are misaligned. Oh yeah, we're a great culture. We're up here culturally. We're at 95% out of 100. Yeah, we're cultural, but our health is like at 5%. You know, we're eating garbage. You know, we're omnivores. Or we really are trying to make money. Well, our economic self, we're focusing on making money, but our psychology is very low, or our education is very low. So our job, I think, from my perspective, and in alignment with the 2016 Black Sustainability Summit, it's imperative that we have a, a organi an organized interrelationship with ourselves. So we talk about integration. Let's integrate our different selves. If we integrate anything, integrate our different selves. So the solution really is with you. And I see myself as a walking solution. So for 40 years, as much as I, I could do, I support black. I buy black. I am black. I'm powerful black. And I'm hoping that everyone will get on board the sustainability because I'm understanding that the role of the black person is to save the planet or help save the planet. And in one of the principles of Kwanzaa says we want to leave the earth more beautiful and beneficial than when we inherited it. So again, work your plan, and organize your different selves. Because, and never think that you are not important. Each and every one of you is important. And when you look at all the various dimensions, the different selves, you will come to the conclusion that you are a system. And all these interrelate. And you are a walking system. And as a walking, living breathing, thinking system, you are the solution to our sustainability. Kamau Kanban, Dr. Kamau Kanban, located in Raleigh, North Carolina. You can contact me through my website, Kamau, K-A-M-A-U, Kanban, K-A-M-B-O-N dot org. I have some of my books on that website. One is The Last Black Man Standing, the other is The Declaration, and I have some other uh, articles and books available to help parents working with children, uh, health and nutrition, etc. All these domains that I talked about, I've written about for over the last 25, 30 years. Uh, you can also connect with me on Abibi Tumikasa, A-B-I-B-I. T-U-M-I-K-A-S-A dot com and keep up with me, keep up with my writings and let's stay black -nificent and support yourselves and everything that we think, say and do should relate to be relative to and relevant for black liberation, 
and black sustainability to propel us way into the future. Thank you.